Hi there. Now for this video, I'm just going to tackle part B of this question, which is to factorize f of x completely. In the first part, we had to use the factor theorem to show that x minus 2 was a factor of f of x. So if you'd like to have a go at this and you haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you can check the work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now there's two ways that we can do this problem. I'll show you both in this video. But the way I prefer is to start with the expression. We've got 2x cubed minus 7x squared and then plus 4x plus 4. And what I'm going to do is say that this is identical to, well, we know that x minus 2 is a factor. We proved that in part A. If you're unsure how to do that, do go back and check that video out. But we've got x minus 2 then, and this would now be multiplied by a quadratic factor in order to get our cubic. And that quadratic factor, we could easily spot what the first term is going to be. It's going to be something x squared. And to get 2x cubed, it has to be 2x squared. It's the only time that we're going to get an x cubed term when we multiply this x by the first term here. Now, the next term in our quadratic factor would be an x term. And you're going to get x terms when you multiply out both the x and the minus 2 with terms in here. So because I don't know what that is, I'm just going to call it plus bx. Then we've got the constant in this quadratic factor. And that's easy to work out because the only time you're going to get a constant is when you multiply the minus 2 here with the last term, the constant in here. And minus 2 times something has got to give us the constant here, 4. So it's got to be minus 2. Minus 2 times minus 2 gives us that plus 4. So how do we get b? Well, the way I'm going to do it is by comparing, say, the x squared terms. You could compare the x terms if you want to, or the x squared terms. It makes no odds. You should arrive at the same answer. So I'll show you how to do it, say, for the x squared terms. Let's just put a note here, compare the x squared terms. And if we do that, then I've got, on the left here, just minus 7x squared. So minus 7x squared would be identical to any x squared terms that we get over here. Now, when it comes to figuring out which terms give us x squared terms, I can see that we're going to be doing x times each of these terms here, followed by minus 2 times each of the three terms. But to get x squared terms, it's going to be x times the bx here. We'll get plus bx squared, so you're going to have bx squared as one of the x squared terms. You're also going to get an x squared term when you do minus 2 times the 2x squared. Minus 2 times 2x squared will give us minus 4x squared. And they're going to be the only x squared terms. So if I add 4x squared to both sides, I get minus 7x squared plus 4x squared is minus 3x squared. So therefore, minus 3x squared would be identical to bx squared. So clearly from here, you can see it follows that b must be minus 3. b equals minus 3. Now, as I say, you could do this, get the value of b quite easily if you compared just the x terms. And as an exercise, I'd encourage you to try that, OK? And then from here, now that we know what b is, that it's minus 3, we can finish this off. We've got that, therefore, f of x is going to be identical to x minus 2 multiplied by the quadratic factor, which is now 2x squared. And b, we've seen, then, is minus 3. So it's going to be minus 3x and then minus 2. Now, the question does say factorize f of x completely. So the word completely does suggest that the quadratic factor 
will factorize further into two linear factors. And if we look closely, we can see that it does. We've got x minus 2 as the first linear factor here, but the quadratic factor factorizes to two other linear factors. And that's going to be 2x there and x there to give the 2x squared. And then for the minus 2, I can see that if I put 1 there and minus 2 there, 1 times minus 2 is the minus 2, but I get 2x times minus 2 is minus 4x, and 1 times x is 1x, Four, minus 4x plus x is the minus 3x. So we got three linear factors. In fact, another way you could write this, because I notice now that x minus 2 is what we call a repeated linear factor, so you could write it like x minus 2 all squared and then 2x plus 1. But that's up to you, okay? Right, now I did say that there was another way that we could look at factorizing this. And that other way is to get the quadratic factor, this one here, by dividing x minus 2 into the cubic expression. And that requires algebraic long division. Now, if you're unsure about algebraic long division, do check that out as well on my website. OK, I've got plenty of tutorials on algebraic long division. So we put x minus 2 then into f of x. So we copy out the terms. We've got 2x cubed then minus 7x squared plus 4x plus 4. And in the usual way, we say, what do you multiply x by to give 2x cubed? And that's going to be 2x squared. So we write it there and do 2x squared times each of the two terms here. 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. And then 2x squared times minus 2 is minus 4x squared. And then we subtract these two away from one another to work out what the remainder is going to be. 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, well that's 0. But then we've got minus 7x squared minus minus 4x squared which is minus 3x squared. So you put that there, and then we bring down the next term, which is 4x. So we write 4x there, and we start all over again. What do you multiply this x by to give minus 3x squared? And that's going to be minus 3x. So you put that up there, minus 3x. And then you do minus 3x times the x and the minus 2. So minus 3x times x is minus 3x squared, and minus 3x times the minus 2 is plus 6x. Again, we subtract to find out what the remainder is, and minus 3x squared minus minus 3x squared is 0, but here we've got 4x minus plus 6x, which is minus 2x. Again, we bring down the next term, which in this case is 4, so put plus 4 there. And what do we multiply x minus 2 by? To get minus 2x plus 4. Well, it's going to be minus 2. Minus 2 times x minus 2 gives us minus 2x plus 4. And when we subtract, what we were expecting was to get a remainder of 0. If we didn't get a remainder of 0 for this question, we would know that we've made a mistake because we're told that x minus 2 should go into that. It's a factor. But can you see that what we've got here in the quotient is the quadratic factor that we found here, 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. So an alternative way if you don't want to compare terms. So I hope it's given you some idea then how to tackle that question if it gave you any problems.